self-biofilm. Green electrolyte for proton battery. Inventor, Mohammed Ibn Haikal Ahmad Sohaimi. Associate Professor Dr. Rizwani Sophia Ahmad Kiar. Professor T.S. Dr. Mohammed Ikmar Nizam Haji Mohammed Isar. From Energy Materials Consortium, Faculty of Science and Technology, University Science Islam Malaysia. Our everyday life is full with battery powered electronic devices, such as smartphones, laptops, and watches. We use these devices either when hanging out with friends, exercising, commuting, or when working. The booming electric car adoption and renewable energy generation policy to decarbonize power generation by using solar and wind energy to combat climate change further increased battery consumption in the past few years. According to an analysis by Statistica.com, the battery capacity demand is projected to increase from just shy of 200 gigawatt hour in year 2020 to 2 terawatt hour in year 2030. A huge 10 times increased from the year 2020. With bulk of the battery demand is due to electric vehicles. Up until now, battery usage appears to give huge benefits towards consumers and environment. However, does everything coming up roses? It appears not. There is one huge problem with current conventional battery system used in all electronic devices and this problem can be catastrophic. It can catch fire. And caused explosion. Recently, we are starting to see increased number of fire incidents started by battery system throughout the news. The fire was caused by one component inside the battery system. It's the liquid electrolytes. Consequently, solid-state electrolyte is the best way possible to go for this. Solid-state electrolyte can be formed by using synthetic polymer materials readily available in the market like PO, PMMA, or PVA. However, synthetic polymer is not sustainable since it is derived from fossil fuel. Since synthetic polymer is unsustainable, therefore, we should look at something more viable and something that is in abundance in nature. Cellulose, or in its natural form, can be found in plants or trees. Cellulose can be obtained from tree trunk, leaves, or even from aquatic plant. This makes cellulose as the most abundance materials in the world and a reliable choice since it is practically obtainable everywhere, and furthermore, it is renewable. Naturally, cellulose, or any natural materials, is insulator in nature. In our innovation, we aim to cater the problems by innovating a solid state bio based electrolytes from cellulose. In Malaysia, the use of cellulose materials is very compelling not because of the vast forest, but because of the vast agricultural estate and plantation exist in Malaysia's. These agriculture industries tend to produce a lot of waste, especially during post-harvest. Therefore, in our innovation, we converted cellulose into something useful that is the waste to wealth. Where, by recycling dried leaves, much better than burning it which may pollute the air and makes it a conductive film. Here, we introduce self the green, conducting biofilm. With self, it able to overcome the flammable liquid electrolyte problem due to hazardous and active materials used in current technology. The solid-state electrolyte using a green materials that is cellulose is surely a great alternative in solving the leakage problems owned by the current technology which caused fire and explosion. The solution casting method used to prepare self-electrolyte is also known to be the simplest and the cheapest. The thin and flexible nature of self will allow for different battery design. Therefore, it can minimize the limitation in fabrication technology and minimize the cost of operation in producing the electrolytes in the long run. The cost is another factor to consider in battery innovation and that is the area that self showed its most advantage. When compared to other polymer materials, the cellulose polymers used in self is the cheapest among some other synthetic and nat natural polymers. When coupled with simple preparation technique for self-electrolyte, it surely can reduce the overall cost and eventually increase profits margin in the long run. Just recently, our finding from this innovation was published in Polymers, an international peer-reviewed Q1 journal. From our finding, the self-electrolyte possess higher performance compared to some other electrolyte system reported previously. Nevertheless, self-electrolytes still have room to be further improved. Currently, self is not yet ready for commercialized due to some limiting performance. However, the prospect is promising since it fulfilled the golden trio of energy storage system. Cheap, efficient, and thin and lightweight. It is with best hope that we will be able to create a safer and cheaper battery system and welcoming the age of renewable battery. Thank you for watching.